Welcome back to the show. Queens, I rant and rave a lot, but I would like to turn to a more serious issue for a moment. I think it's time for me to address something which is more irritating to students than 4 a.m. fire alarms. I'm speaking, of course, about midterms. Now, I know it is easy to forget that I am, in fact, a real, average sixth-year astrology undergraduate, much like all of my regular viewers. But it's true. I'm just a regular, normal student with my own TV show. Even I, for all of my worldly experience, sit in a classroom five days a week, sometimes for up to six hours a day. What makes midterms brutal is that they aren't even remotely coordinated with each other. Who is planning this? One week, you'll have none. And what happens next? Next week, you've got three on the same day. It's a lost cause. It's like watching planet Earth and rooting for the Impala instead of the cheetah. I'm not getting confused with the car here. It's an animal. You know that Impala is about to get owned. It's just a matter of when. And you can't help but root for yourself in the long run. What irritates me the most is when you decide, all right, this is the one, and camp out at the library for 12 hours. And by camp, I mean equipped with a tent and some blue ribbon. Despite all the effort you put in at the library, you later realize that it was neither a really difficult midterm, nor that it was worth more than 15% of your grade. Walking out of that midterm, you think, what a waste. I could have been at my friend's birthday party, caught a flick, or been waiting in a clinic while my grandma got her bunion scraped. Oh. You've never done that before? <laughs> my advice for those writing midterms, stop caring. That's right. Just don't do the work. Don't study, don't show up, and don't even try. That's what got me to where I am, a sixth year undergraduate student. And with that, I declare midterms. You have just been bailed. Thank you, everyone. We've enjoyed having you around. As always, I'm David Sinkinson, and this has been Queen's TV. Oh, and uh, apologies to Mr. Colbert. We once again uh, ran a little long. We really got to stop doing this. Have a great night, everyone. <laughs>